I uh, looked at her and she said, sorry, we don't want people with your hair here. And I was like, wow, that's really rude. And I walked away from the situation. She then apparently uh, followed me down two flights of stairs to uh, approach me about this whole situation. And I tried to leave multiple times and she wouldn't let me. She kept grabbing me, pushing me back, uh, trying to make her point or something. Um, I didn't want to talk or discuss the situation with her at all. I felt that I didn't need to explain myself, my hair, my rules, my body. Someone within an activist, uh, activist group thought that she could attack me based on it, based on my locks, and that's not okay. It's not even part of the like colored communities culture. Like it may be with grind in it, but it's ingrained in so many cultures other than that. It's an Egyptian culture. It's in Viking culture. You'll see in uh, like Victorian culture that there is uh, information about them having dreadlocks too. Like it's everywhere. It's not something that is just part of the colored community. When people wear Native American headdresses, I feel like that is cultural appropriation because that is something that solely is within their culture that they use for power movement. Only people of high standing within that community can have headdresses. And, and that, that would be cultural appropriation. But someone having locks, which is found universally across the world, not just within African culture, but everywhere actually, that is not cultural appropriation in my view. The fact that I have locks does not mean that I am trying to appropriate in this culture. It means that I love and respect their culture and it's something that I hold true to myself. I feel like these differences are not something that separate us, but are something that should bring us closer together. Hair tangles naturally. It is something that naturally will happen. Does your... that happen naturally to your hair? No. I'm not saying that it did, but at the same time, it's something that I wanted it to happen. Like, it does naturally happen to other people. Their hair will naturally dread. So those people that naturally dread, is it okay that they have it? Dreadlocks are tied to cultures, but at the same time, there's also instances of dreadlocks not being tied to cultures. It In is. What cases? Um, well, she just mentioned the Irish, but it's also like I'm sure that anyone that has had tangled hair in the past that didn't have access to combs probably had dreadlocks. Cavemen, I bet you had dreadlocks. When you're coming from a place of privilege, and you're you're taking. Um, taking an element of somebody's culture that symbolizes something for It didn't that symbolize any, any, for anything for her. I bet you if, she, if you asked her directly what dreadlocks mean, she would not fully know. Why do you say that? Huh? Why do you say that? Because... Because I, it's something that a lot of people don't know. There's a lot of research. It's something that, like, it's not something that is common within African American culture. Like, it's not something that all across the board you will see that they believe in, that they cherish, that they like. It's something that they wear on their head. Like, it's something that is their hairstyle. Like, do you see it as a fashion statement and a hairstyle more so than a cultural icon? I feel like it has both. I don't feel like it's one or the other. I feel like it has both it can have some cultural ties but it can also have like style ties just like a bindi you know